My name is Agnes Muthoni. Uh, I'm a clinician based at Kimalel Health Center, Baringo District. We work, we work with DNDI Cambry in, a, in Kalaza Research Center. Kalaza is one of the neglected diseases in the country and found especially in this region. Uh, currently we are de dealing with the patients with the disease. We go for them in the field, they come for screening, we examine them, we also take blood samples from them and after that check whether they have got the Reishmania parasites in them. After that uh, we, treat, we put them on treatment for 17 days. We also cater for them in the hospital wards. The, the challenges we've, we've observed with the patient is the first fact that the, they have not yet accepted the fact that they have to come to the hospital for the medication and they have to practice first what they call we call the traditional medicine and after struggling a lot with the traditional medicine it's when they give up and later come to the hospital coming to the hospital also is a problem because of the distance there are no transport there's no transport from that place it's a challenge getting vehicles coming from that place reaching here so you get that the patient struggle too much before they get to the hospital and they come, by the time they reach the hospital, they are so sick, some even die before they come to this place. We've also had challenges of the diet. Some of the patients come and they are, they are completely out of place. They haven't have had such diets in their livelihoods because they depend on milk and meat. So when they come and we serve them with things like rice, they are, at times it's a challenge to them uh, out of their pastoralist life because mostly we deal with the pastoralist communities which depend on meat and milk in their livelihoods. Currently, the two drug administration, that is the paramomycin and the sodium tibogluconate, goes for 17 days, and we are we are happy that it has assisted us a lot. It it also assists in the planning because now the patients can stay in the ward for 17 days. Before we used to have the patients in the ward for 30 days when they were on the tibogluconate. Uh, my message to the government and to the partners is to thank them for the great support they've given to us and we're also requesting that they may continue helping us as much as they would, they would be able and we are going to really appreciate because as far as us we've come, uh, a lot is happening and would like to thank them a lot.